from the book of Isaiah, chapter 14. And God said to Lucifer, the fallen angel, O oh, Lucifer, son of the dawn, you have been cast down to earth, banished from my kingdom. To which Lucifer replied, One day I will ascend to heaven. One day I will raise my throne above the stars of God. One day I will be like the most high. That day, Lucifer's day, has come! Five centuries ago, we received our first sign. The astronomical clock was built. Its purpose, to announce to the world the date of Lucifer's return. The clockmaker tried to destroy his work, asking for God's protection from the wrath of Satan. But in the end, God was no match for Satan. The clock came to life the countdown began. Then, two decades ago, our second sign. It was foretold in the scriptures that signs will allow man to turn against his God the day that man has the knowledge to recreate himself. You have selected TV news footage, November 1978. In Cambridge today, university officials hope to end months of protest when funding was cut for the controversial Human Blanks Project. Genetics professor Michael Benedetti, whose research spawned the first genetically created lab mouse, hopes to develop the technology for genetically created human beings. This human creation issue angered religious leaders who felt that Benedetti's experiments amounted to playing God. These experiments are an abomination, clearly interfering with God's work. In an ironic twist, it was a local church group who agreed to fund Benedetti's research. The order's leader is Father Simeon, who was excommunicated from the Catholic Church several years ago for his radical beliefs on the Antichrist. I've been in contact with the church group, an ancient Etruscan order, but very progressive in their scientific beliefs. Our mission now is to find 18 beautiful angels, as foretold in the scriptures, to present to Lucifer, and one of them will be chosen to continue his work on Earth. Satan will no longer be beast, but beauty. Mozzie! Mozzarella! Mozzie! Gonna be late! No, we slept. We let you, it's your birthday! <laughs> Laura, you give me a test today. Well, I'll drop you on my way. Besides, if there are anything like my students, I'll be only too happy to have you show up late. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry I have to work tonight, but we'll um, celebrate on Saturday. Motsi? Motsi? <laughs> so you can't interview this guy tomorrow? Well, he's leaving the country, and so, you know, but we're almost finished. Who is he again? An expert in my field. Is it mummy? You should talk. Well, music is a living thing, Laura. You give life to it every time you play it. Well, so is ancient civilization. Every time you dig into it. He's an expert on Etruscans. Oh, sure. Snails. <laughs> no, those are crustaceans. There's a cat carrier. He's freaking out. Right on the chair. Lucy, what's with the cat? He has a vet's appointment. He's too fat. He's gonna have a heart attack. You shouldn't be feeding him so much cooked chicken, sweetheart. Mom, don't forget the camera. Got it. The vet said to take before and after pictures. What, the cat's modeling for a cow, Ken? At least we'll have one model in this family. One's enough. 
You know, Catherine's dad's in advertising, and he said that if I worked really see. hard... And so it was the sole purpose of the 15th, 16th, and 17th century composers to set God's word to music. Not a bad lyricist, I might add. Yea, though I walk through the valley of death, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Likewise, this was not an invention of 20th century television, but of Vivaldi creating an under-rhythm to counterpoint the mesmeric recitation of 17th century church life. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get back home to decorate for Dad's surprise party before people start showing up. I know, dear, but Father Simeon flew in from Italy just for the day, and I have to interview him before he returns tonight. I'll call you a cab in a minute. All right, Mom. Father? Father Simeon, how are you? This is my daughter, Lucy. Yes. An angel. Your mother, she tells me you want to be in a magazine. Is that your dream? I guess so. <laughs> well, I also told him that I'm discouraging that. Now, don't you get me in trouble here. Your mother's very wise. And she also tells me that your father's birthday is coming soon. Is that right? Yeah, that's, um, it's today, actually. And she would like to hurry home to decorate. So I told her that we might call her a cab from here. Of course. Father Simeon? Tell me that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mom! 
She's dead. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mom! God, no. No, 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 no. No! his nose. I'm just trying to, f to find some answers. You know, we were thinking that um, you might want to get away for a while. Your boss here uh, says he'll give you the time off, and I'm more than willing to take care of the house if you want. I just wanted to say that um, my mom saved this cat. He was trapped in a crate of mozzarella behind an Italian restaurant. We, uh, we think he ate too much and couldn't get out. He loved her for that. Almost as much as I did. Almost as much as my dad. He might not know she's gone, but I know we're all well, I'll miss her. And I'll be glad to see her again someday. In heaven. And I don't know what she... All I know is she, she was happy. Now, the exhibits in this wing represent some of the earliest forms of figurative art dating back to the mid-6th century B.C., therefore making them almost 2,600 years old, younger than some of your parents. In this other section, you can see a large selection of household utensils. Stay together, girls, and no talking, huh? Stand there and pose for some strange guy with a camera? He wasn't strange. He was a real guy, like a professional. So what if he was? You don't know what he'll do with the pictures. Why would you do something like that? Because it felt good. I felt good. Is that such a bad thing? You know how your mother felt about it. Yeah, well, Mom's gone, Dad. So that makes it okay? Lucy, you're a smart girl. If you need more time off school, just say so. Who cares? Why? All of a sudden, you don't... Because I hate it. That's why.
king of evil, ruled by Christ. The child of grace. Would thy kingdom come if Satan could? Christ's beauty so replace. Would thy will be done if Satan had like Christ? A holy face. Couldn't get through to her. The last thing she said to me was, I hate my life. She said that? I hate my life? Yes, she did. Look, she wants to try to model. There are worse things. I think you ought to let her try it. Have you been approached or what? Yeah, I got a call, but I couldn't do that to Nora. She found it corrupting. I understand, but look, that kid's face stands out in the crowd, right? Yeah. If she's going to be objectified for being beautiful, she might as well get paid for it. And you never know. She might want to kick back something to her, you know. Godfather. And there it is. There's that <laughs> advice I was looking for. Thanks, pal. Look, do you want my two cents, really? What would make Lucy happy? Hi. Hi. You feel okay? I'm fine. Okay. You want to get some dinner? I'm not hungry. What is this? Came today. Express. Do you like it? Where's it from? Florian Favino is a genius, and this kind of discovery is his trademark. Kathy in a mosque in Somalia. Annabelle in a soup kitchen in France. Look, he discovers them in out places, but they're all making up to $10,000 a day on the runways of Paris and Milano. So, what's in it for you? 20%. In exchange, we cover three months training with Florian and his wife in Italy. We provide you with first-class tickets to visit her once a month. Wait a minute. Visit her? You gotta be kidding. Did you think I'd let you take her alone? I know it's a nervous idea, but if you like, you can check with the parents of Kathy, Nina, and Simone. It's a very generous offer. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just very uncomfortable with being separated from my daughter right now. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Santa Maria in Rome. They're uh, renovating and want someone to document their music archives. Uh, they sent this inquiry to the department and requested you by name. You're more famous than I knew. Uh, read the part about how these works have been sealed since the 16th century. Well. Luz? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the matter? What's wrong? It's Monty. <laughs> what? They called from the vet. He's sick. They want to put him to sleep. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Why does everything get taken away? I'll always be here for you. Lucy, you got your whole life ahead of you. I don't see the point anymore. Lucy!
Now I think I should be doing more stuff like this, you know, it's really sweet, not really like sexy, because if you're just sweet, you can be in your underwear and it's not sexy, because you know what I'm saying, it's like Victoria's Secret, not a dirty magazine, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes I do. <laughs> Breakfast. Mangiare. Si, si. Uh, do you have anything like, um, boiled polo without salt or anything? Did you order a special? No. I'll go see. Yes. Boiled chicken? Is that in honor of Matsi? <laughs> I stopped by the vets and told them that was his favorite dish. Did you get a chance to say goodbye before he left? Mm hmm. I'm sure they'll take good care of him, honey. I didn't think so. No chicken. Maybe fish? <coughs> see. Lucy? <laughs> oh. The cat has no papers. They'll slap him straight into quarantine. I'll stay calm, stare straight ahead. No eye contact. Buongiorno, signorina. Miau. Huh? Hi. This is my wife, Gabriella. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Hi. Faccia d'Angelo. See. She says she's angelic. Dombroso, Lucia. Wow. Over that ridge, our villa, and down below the guest house you'll be staying in. That church. La Chiesa dei Diciotto Angeli. Diciotto, um, eight? Eighteen. Your pet will have company. The friars have many cats. The Abbey cats. They hunt mice in the underground caves. Beautiful, isn't it, Luce? The iron on these hills attracts lightning. It's the iron mines that build the Etruscan civilization. Etruscans? My wife was studying them. You said you wanted to speak with me. Yes, Dr. Benedetti. You have been on this project now for quite some time. I'm afraid your work is concluded. I, I, I don't understand. I thought we shared an interest in this research. We will arrange for your return to the States. What's going on here? This is all for a higher purpose than you could possibly understand.
Mozzie? 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 Have you seen a cat around? A cat? Gato? Gato? <laughs> Ci sono dappertutto. No, no, um, my cat. He's gray, really fat. Could you look for him? Bien. Yes. Come on. Bien. Excuse me. Mr. Stanton? I'm Maria Elena. Maria Elena. Who's the guy with the horse? Damiano. Who's Damiano? He's in charge of the animals. Well, what, what the hell does he think he's doing? Do not worry. He has great control of them. Sometimes I think he is one of them. Look, my daughter is out there with him in nothing but a nightgown, and... They will be back soon. Come and have breakfast. May I do anything else for you? I think I should call the police. We have no polizia in Poggio. I think there is a guard at the bank with a gun. But you wouldn't want to sue Damiano. No, no, I'd like to kill Damiano. Now is your chance. Thanks. We saw him, but he got away. What the hell are you doing? I'm looking for Mozzi. Daddy had this disgusting mouse in his mouth. Like Look, wouldn't I don't want to talk about Mozzi. He's not even supposed to be here. I don't want you riding around the countryside with some stable boy, half naked, that you don't even know. Dad, you don't understand. He There's no excuse for that. Home. You know better. Now go get dressed. I don't need advice from you. You may be wrong about that. by a car. They found him on the road near the cemetery. Now each day I go to his grave. I look for answers. He was beautiful. Do you have another child? Yes. And I, I would do anything for him. 
Listen. My problems are of no importance to you. Well, again, I'm sorry. Gabriella! Uh, this is the young man I told you about who studies Etruscan, Massimo Pena, Mr. Stanton. Uh, hi. And you are the American scholar I heard was in town. Yes. He's a scholar himself. Oh, just a seminary student, actually. Not in your class. But I am a fellow traveler. My studies are in Rome. Oh. Luz, you to be here, right, honey? Oh, she'll be fine, Papa. She's starting her job today, like a grown-up. Really, I'll be fine. This is what we came here for, remember? She'll never be out of my sight, don't worry. Good. Have fun. Bye. Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, there you are. Train, right? So you are interested in Etruscans? Well, my wife was, yes. Oh, well, this is the place. Like the church above your valley. Was once Etruscan? Well, that's called uh, Il Diciotto. Oh, very good. <laughs> A case of the Diciotto Angeli. The Church of the Eighteen Angels. A very strict monastery now. The rector allows no visitors. Massimo, the senior Stanton is not interested. You know he's an expert. Because he'll talk your head off. Because it is interesting. This church, for instance, is, the, is named for the Truscan legend that the return of the devil will follow the appearance of eighteen angels. You're earnest, Massimo, but very gullible. <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Yeah. L listen, I've got the number where we're staying. Oh, you're there now? No, no, I'm here at the church. You're kidding, you're working already? So how's it going? Well, in, in a word, it's uh, strange. Strange? What do you mean strange, man? You're in Rome, come on. La Dolce Vita. What do you mean strange? Well, you name it. You know, the house we're staying, the, the people, the, the whole setup. It's... Yeah, how's Lucy doing? Well, she's upset at me right now. So when do you think my cat will come back? When he's hungry. He's sick. He needs medicine. My dad knew that. It's just not like him to go hitting him like that. He misses your mother. It's natural. <laughs> that really tickles. <laughs> we need your ears, too. Why is the cat... the cat's there? No, it was. But it, it brought in a mouse. Some... Mutant-looking thing, god-awful face. Yeah, you know, I don't know, like, uh, like something that uh, Professor in the news a while back, Benedetti. Right. Huge ears, tiny little eyes, and fangs for teeth. Well, you know, like the man said, science does not have a pretty face, right? My mom and I once had these facials. She killed herself, you know. No. So you can't go to heaven if you kill yourself. You will go to heaven. I guarantee you that. Who knows? Maybe I'll kill myself someday. No. You will not. You know, that's possibly where he ended up. Because I know he got some Italians to sponsor his work. After his funding got cut. Italians? Well, listen, give me a fax number and uh, I'll send you what I can, okay? 
So tell me, how's Lucy doing? Did she start the modeling yet or what? Uh, yeah, today. Why are we doing this again? The mask to make you permanent, Bambina. A child was just brought in. A dead child! I will not allow my work to become a part of this. Do you understand you me? You will not allow it? I told you before, it's for a higher purpose. It's the ultimate marriage between science and Satan. When man's knowledge allows him to recreate himself, therefore making God obsolete. What are you talking about? My blanks are not recreations of life. Satan cannot be born of man. Science can only create the blanks. It can never instill the soul. I can. You only need one soul. The soul of Lucifer. And a beautiful face for it. This is wrong. This is evil. And I will not let you get away with this insanity. May God condemn you to hell. interested in genetics hmm? the papers no these are the faxes I this is Simeon father Simeon you know this man see si. yes did I not mention him to you the rector at the monastery above the valley the one who will let no one in that's his church one of them they also have a parish in England I believe and in America I found these. You went through my bag? No, I was unpacking. Who is he? Priest. My wife out there. Yeah, but who is he? What were you doing there? Look, I don't know. She was interviewing him for some article. She wanted to take his picture. He wouldn't let her. I don't know. Did he say anything to you? He said I was beautiful or something. I don't. What happened next? I told you. 
She got me a cab and I went home. Lucy. Luce. Listen. Look at me. I want us to go home. I start my book soon. You can model in Boston. Something's wrong here, sweetheart. Nothing's wrong. The only thing wrong is that mozzi has gone and you've been acting weird since we got here. We'll look for him tomorrow. I'm going to. Damiano thinks they could be at the monastery because they feed them there. No, Lucy, listen carefully. I'm sorry I struck the cat. I will look for him tomorrow. Find him or not, we're leaving. You must know him. No. The church on the hill, the monastery. You've never been there. They allow no one in. Look, this man, this, this priest, was the last person to see my wife before she killed herself. And now he's here. And we're here. Then leave if you must. Just go. Look, I'm sorry about your wife. Maria Elena. Tell me. Tomorrow I say goodbye to my son. Then I do make arrangements to live. If you know something. Good night. creates man in his own image. Thus Satan cannot be born of man, instead using man to create vessels of perfection for his triumphal return to Earth. See note.
gato looking for a cat and uh, uh, Polly and Glazy. We have many cats. Which one do you seek? No, my daughter's cat ran away. We're down at the farmhouse. Ah, our American neighbors. Come. È l'americano. La figlia ha perso il gatto. Dobbiamo essere generosi e dargli uno dei nostri gatti. He says we must be generous and give you one of our cats. No, no thanks. No more pets. We're actually heading home. Oh. What a shame. That's why it's important I do this today. Is there someone in charge I can speak with? Someone to give me permission to look around? Yes, of course. Il signore qui abita a Valle d'Ambroso, è il nostro vicino. Hello, father. Nice to meet you. Grazie. Il signore ritorna negli Stati Uniti. Perché? Prima della Santa Pasqua? He says it would be a pity for you to miss the pageant of Easter. You do speak English? Pochissimo. Sono senza speranza. <laughs> He's saying that he's hopeless. But you had a conversation with my wife, Nora Stanton. Ha conosciuto sua moglie, la signora Nora Stanton. Sì, sì. La scrittrice. Ma non è mai tornato. He's saying, uh, yes, the writer. Is she with you? She never came back. No. She's not with me anymore. La moglie non sta più con lui. Hmm. Capisco. In America ci si divorzia facilmente. What did he say? In America, divorce is too easy. She ended her life. You were the last person to see her. Now, I want to speak to you, and I want to speak to you in English. Did my wife say anything to you to give you any indication, please? He said that my wife is suicidata. Oh. He said something before. Mi ho fatto solo delle domande e ho dato delle risposte. He said uh, she only asked questions and he only gave answers. Un'intervista. Interview. Well, that's not true. He remarked how beautiful my daughter was. They had a conversation. And she does not speak Italian. He spoke in English. Mi scusi. No, no, excuse, excuse, please. I need to speak to you about my wife, please. please. Chin, your chin up, up to me, more. Okay, okay, let's see. Like that. Well, maybe go with Mary Ellen. I need your truck. See. Sì? It is time. 
Grazie. Thy kingdom come, Satan could Christ Jesus have your place. Mercy. But thy will be done if Satan had, like Christ, a holy face. A holy face. A holy face. Tu non ti mischiare, non ti riguarda.
No! No! Oh, God, Lucy! We need a hospital! A hospital! Let this happen. God forgive me. Did she make the mask? The woman. You knew about this. Your son has a mask. They all do by the time they are buried. To hide them, they have no faces. Let me help. I, I will take you. Brain dead. She was caught in a rope around her neck. Severed her cortex. What? Okay, um, wh where are you now? A town called the Terrible. They have a kind of a emergency room. Is she breathing on her own? Yes. Well, then she did not sever the cortex. Who told you that? The doctors. Well, they don't know shit. Give me the number there, and I'm gonna call them back. Don't tell me anything about brain dead. Do they even have the kind of equipment they need to monitor that there? Uh, I don't know. Okay, here's what you have to do. You have to get her to another hospital. Outside of Rome, in Rome, I don't know. Can you get her out of there? There was a woman, but... Uh. Okay, find someone. Find someone you trust. I'm going to my office, and I'm going to hook you up with the doctor in Italy. All right? Dr. Rinieri, a specialist in spinal injury. Oh, we don't need you, doctor. I'm taking her out of here. Our doctor in the States is arranging the whole thing. Please, I need you to contact uh, Pena, Massimo Pena, in Valle d'Ambroso. Tell him what's happened and ask him to please come here now. Please. But, signore, there is nothing that can be done. Oh, we'll see about that. I deal often with patients in air condition for organ transplants. I was going to suggest we move air for that purpose. Wait a second. You listen to me. This child is not brain dead till I hear from someone who knows. She's leaving here, and she's leaving here in one piece. As you wish.
Yes, well, then beep him then. Okay, do you understand? It's an emergency. I need to speak to him right away and have him call me at that number that I gave to you. Do you understand? Yes, in the United States. There is a call for you, Signore. They say for America. Would you stay with him, please? I'm the hospital chaplain. Yeah, well, your assistant told me what happened. Now's not the greatest time, Father, okay? Very well. Wait, Father? I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess I'm not uh, the right guy for this, you know? I always thought religion was a little paganistic. Were you able to reach Senor Pena? Si, si, si. He's coming. Thank you. Hello, Todd. Hello. There's no one on the line. One of them. Then? Lucy's gone. They've taken her. What can I do for you? Take me to the monastery. The monastery? Yes, just take me there! Do this. We call the police. Signore, I must leave here. I cannot stay. No. Oh, wait, wait. You said they believe the devil follows the appearance of 18 angels. Yes. There are 17 children here. I'm sorry. I cannot stay. Forgive me. I will send help.
happening here? My daughter's been taken, like the rest. Where is my daughter? Where is she? Stanton, Diciotto, the cumulative number of the bees to form the holy circle. What have you done with her? What have you done with her? Glorified her. From the very first time I saw her, I knew she would be the last to complete the circle from which one will be chosen. This is insane. This is madness. It is not madness. It is prophecy between science and Satan. Designed to separate man from his God at the exact hour designated by Etruscan scripture. No, wait! Is she alive? Tell me where she is! She's achieving perfection, like the others who lie in readiness, unaware that the best will be chosen, rising like Christ did on that glorious day. No longer beast, but beauty. Don't do this! She's my child. My flesh and blood. Then let it spill like Christ did for the ages. Brothers, for thousands of years we have waited for this moment, and now. According to the Etruscan calendar, the day has come. The day of the 18 angels. From the beginning, Lucifer, the fallen angel, wanted a perfect world, and God created an imperfect world, a world full of hate, war, and blood. Never was there a bloodier time in history than Christianity. That's why we chose Lucifer, the light one as our God. Man's science has created the human possibilities to make this a better world. All we need is beauty and innocence. And we have found both.
I'm sorry. We lost her. Can I see her? I need a doctor here! Doctor, please! Doctor! I need a doctor! We made it, honey. It's ever gonna harm me again. Ever. I won't let him. Tell me you're okay, honey. You're all right, aren't you, honey? Hmm? Yes, Daddy. I'm fine. 